Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're taking a look at Paris Corner's Killer Oud Ethic. All right, so Killer Oud Ethic is from the House of Paris Corner. It's an eau de parfum concentration and you can pick this sucker up for $26 at places like Fragrance Buy. I'm gonna have a link down in the description if you decide you wanna check this one out. Also have a coupon code. Save yourself $5 off your first purchase. Add fragrance by if you decide you want to shop with them. Presentation on this, a pretty nice, nice thick cardboard box has this kind of nice glossy finish to it. And behind that glossy finish is this kind of brick pattern that we got going on there. All the necessaries on the back and it is a slide off style of box presentation with our bottle sitting here in this nice little podium. So overall box presentation, pretty nice, almost dropped the bottle. Nice, thick, heavy glass. If you're familiar with the Killer Oud series, this is keeping with that same style, nice rounded corners on this. Has this nice kind of gradient that goes through the bottle, so it is a kind of a nice looking kind of, you know, elegant, gentlemanly, stylish style of bottle. Has the iconic tassel that goes on this. Some people may find that unnecessary, a little silly, a little gimmicky. I might agree with them, but I'm not gonna get upset over a tassel. Cap on this, nice thick heavy metal. It does have kind of that unique top to it. So I do like that kind of added touch, not your normal kind of looking cap to it. And the atomizer on this, pretty decent. Really wide sprays on this. Doesn't go far, but it does kind of distribute fairly wide. So you could probably hit your whole torso with this in one spray. So overall presentation on this, pretty nice for $26. I think Paris Corner did a great job. So if you were wondering what Paris Corner's Killer Oud Ethics smells like, you have come to the right place. So I'm about to tell you. Some of the notes listed in this are a pink pepper, berry essence, frankincense, cardamom, cumin, saffron, mace, nutmeg, myrtle, geranium, myrrh, oud, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, leather, musk, and castorium. So a lot going on in here. Let me tell you what I get from this fragrance. In the opening, I get this really nice, bright, fresh, clean, like fresh, spicy, cool sort of opening to it. Really nice blend of spices. It has this nice kind of herbaceousness to it. The, the fresh spices that come through have this really nice kind of cooling sensation that go with it, but it has that kind of that nice spice, that kind of bit of a nose tickle to it, but it does have this kind of nice green sweetness that works in there. That myrrh and that myrtle kind of appear, giving it that herbaceous nose, giving it a little bit of sweetness, almost kind of like a lemony touch to it, but it also adds that nice kind of herbalness to it at the same point has this almost kind of a medicinal sweetness to it, like a little bit kind of a resinous sweetness that goes on with it. And this incense that's in there, it just kind of adds like a wisp of a little bit of like smoke to it, but it's nice and light and airy, very fresh, very clean, very kind of spicy, but has that kind of cooling sensation with it as well. Really nice style of opening to this. As it's kind of develops, you get a little bit more of that incense works in there. It's a little bit of kind of a wisp of incense. So it's not like a heavy smoke necessarily. It is kind of just like a nice little kiss of incense. It kind of wraps itself around that fresh spicy nature. Kind of adds a little bit to that kind of like resinous sweetness to it. A little bit of that green sweetness to it. Kind of elevates things a little bit. And as this kind of dries down a little bit, you get some more of those woody accords that come through. You get this nice light airy cedar that's got a little bit of spice to it. Some nice soft sandalwood that kind of comes through. Kind of giving this like a nice kind of woody base to it. But what you really get is that, that fresh, clean, green style of kind of fresh spiciness with like I said, that kind of cooling sensation that comes with it. Really unique, really, really nice. Oud is listed in this, along with saffron and leather. I don't pick up any oud whatsoever in this fragrance. It might be there, it might mix with the wood accords a little bit, but it, if it is there, it is way in the background and it is not like a Middle Eastern style of oud that comes through. My nose doesn't pick up on it. On my skin, I do not pick up on the oud. And the leather and saffron style of notes, I don't pick up on like a lot of leather. It might be a little bit in the base. You might get a little hint of leather, but this is not a leather fragrance whatsoever. This is more kind of like a barbershop style fragrance with like a little bit of twist. It has a little bit more sweetness in it than your typical style of barbershop fragrance, but it has those kind of clean aromatics that come through. The geranium in here adds kind of that, that kind of lift that aromatic nature to it, but those fresh spices in there has that clean, fresh, invigorating nature. A little bit of a lemony kiss that goes in there along with that kind of green herbaceousness. So it does have that very clean barbershop style of scent accord to it, but it does have that nice little bit of sweetness that's mixed in there, as well as that kind of like sweet, semi-smoky style of incense that kind of wisps across all those scent accords. Really nice, clean, masculine, gentlemanly, almost kind of dapper style of fragrance that 
I absolutely enjoy. I think the scent of cord on this is fantastic. Perfect spring style of fragrance. Really, really enjoy this one. So when it comes to the performance of Paris Corners, Killer Oud Ethic. I get about average performance of this, maybe a touch below average. I get about five, maybe six hours of longevity off my skin. I could definitely push it to that six, seven hour mark if I get some on my clothing. And the projection is moderate for the first hour and a half, I would say, about an arm's length before it does settle back in. So it's not a monster projector and it doesn't last super long. So like I said, about average, maybe a little bit below average in terms of performance. Kind of what I expected for the Scenta Cord on this because it has that kind of lightness to it, that fresh, clean style of nature to it, that kind of barbershop twist. I didn't expect this to be a monster performer, but I would have hoped for like maybe a little bit better performance, but overall an average, slightly below average performance on this. It does have a nice scent trail to it. If you walk past people, they are gonna smell you, but it is a very gentle, kind of soft, unintrusive style of kind of scent trail, scent bubble that you are gonna have. So overall performance, like I said, average, a little bit below average, which it could be a little bit better, but overall I'm not too disappointed. So when it comes to the where and when I think Paris Corners Killer Oud Ethic would be most appropriate, I definitely think this is going to be an absolute spring banger. I think this has just got that perfect spring vibe. Day or night, I think this has just got spring written all over it. It's got that, that fresh, clean, rejuvenating green nature to it that is just perfectly suited for the spring. I also think this would do good in the summer. Maybe not the high heat, but like a nice summer evening. This is just gonna fit the vibe and just hit perfect for those kind of seasons, those kind of temperatures. I think you can get away with this in the fall for a kind of a similar temperature range. Winter, this doesn't suit the vibe too much. It is like a little hard to push through that cold. It doesn't quite have that kind of, that winter kind of darker, heavier, even sweeter style of scent accords to it. So like I said, definitely a spring banger, summer evenings and into the fall. I think this is going to be the best time of seasons to wear this. In terms of occasions, I think this is a great versatile fragrance. I think you can absolutely wear this casually. You can wear this running errands, going to lunch, going about your day to day. I think this is a fine office fragrance. Like I said, it's not a monster projector or anything like that. So you can get away with this at work without offending people. It's a very pleasant fragrance you're not going to blast people out and it does have kind of that gentle scent accord to it that's just fresh clean professional style of scent accord to it and i also think you can dress this one up and get away with this on date nights might not be my first choice for date nights or necessarily for a formal night but because it has that kind of fresh clean touch of sweet a little bit of woodiness that little kiss of smoke in there it does have that kind of gentlemanly dapper sort of feel to it so i think you could dress this up in like a three-piece suit or kind of a tuxedo type of event as well as date nights you're going to have that nice fresh clean sort of style going on for your lady or your gentleman that you're spending the evening with i think you could pull it off so overall i think this is a very versatile fragrance in terms of occasions gym maybe not so much I, there'd be other choices i'd have for the gym but you could probably get away with it at the gym and you wouldn't offend anybody necessarily but Spring banger, summer evenings, a casual wear, date night, formal. I definitely think you can pull those off the best in those occasions. So my overall thoughts on Paris Corners at Killer Oud Ethic. I really enjoy the scent accord on this. I love the fresh, invigorating, cooling style of nature that comes through with this. That kind of medicinal, herbaceous, green sweetness that mixes in there. That little kiss of incense. Those nice kind of light woods that work in there. I, I just love this. I love the kind of barbershop twist on this. It doesn't have that kind of like the grandpa barbershop sort of vibe going on to it. It's a very modern take on sort of a barbershop twist of a fragrance, if you will. Really, really like that. Aromatic, clean, fresh gentlemanly dapper but it also has that kind of cool laid back sort of nature to it really awesome scent accords on this i am a big fan of this performance i wish was a little bit better it does fall a little bit short when it comes to performance but i'm not too disappointed in terms of the longevity or the projection on this you can go a little heavy on the sprays and kind of you know push it out a little bit further but you know, not great in terms of performance, but I think for $26, you're still getting your money's worth when it comes to that. And like I said, a very versatile fragrance in terms of occasions and for seasons. Like I said, spring and summer are written all over this one. Like anytime I smell this, I just think spring, summer evenings, perfect for those kind of occasions. So overall, I think this is a great pickup for $26. I'm glad I picked this up. I'm glad I have this one in my collection. One of my favorites amongst uh, the Killer Oud series so far. I only have about three or four of them at this moment, but this is one of my favorites within the line. So really, really enjoy this one. I definitely think it's worth checking out. That's Paris Corners Killer Oud Ethic. And I want to hear from you guys. What's a Middle Eastern fragrance that kind of has that spring vibe or even kind of that barbershop style of twist to it? Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your different recommendations, different tastes, scent profiles. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. 
We'll see you all next time.